Hey guys, it's me, KZ, and I'm here with Impossible Music by Sean Williams. This is a book I picked up after National Sign Language Day because I needed some help finding books that featured deaf protagonists or even deaf culture. And so I got a list from a friend, including this book. This book's premise was so intriguing to me, I started with it. I'll read some others on the list, you better be sure. But uh, the premise of this one, as well as the cover art, look, that cover art is super awesome. It, shall we say, rocks. Let me tell you why it rocks. Because of the premise. The premise is there is an 18-year-old young man named Simon, an Australian guy, and he, the book is Australian, by the way, he wakes up one morning unable to hear. He had been hearing, he wakes up, he no longer has sound in his life, but he is a musician. He categorizes himself, identifies himself by music. His father works in the music industry. What is he if he's not a musician? Is he still a musician if he can't hear? All sorts of question revolving around his identity in this one and his ability to communicate because he's so resistant to his new identity, the way he has changed, the way things have changed for him and to him, that he refuses to learn sign language, does not go to his new classes uh, with other students who are deaf. And so, he struggles with isolation, he struggles with being alone, and he struggles with how to communicate with others. Uh, even though he does have a girlfriend who has a similar, though very different, hearing problem. You'll see what I mean when you pick up the book and give it a read. I mean, how can you not? A main character, musician who can't hear, and I'll tell you, still creates music? Find out if you like this book, if you would say it rocks when you read it. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. I enjoyed it, didn't think it was fantastic, had higher hopes for it really, uh, but I did like it and would recommend it to you, especially if you have or are someone who is in high school and who is interested in those topics of conversation, deaf culture being one, uh, deaf history even being another. It's like I said, a, an Australian book, so it focuses a little bit more on the Australian element than the American. But uh, Simon is, a, is an interesting character. It's hard to get into the book because he kind of doesn't care at the beginning, uh, which is part of his MO and part of the characterization. But once you get him going, it's pretty good. Three out of five. Uh, high school age reading level is a little younger. It's it's probably seventh to twelfth grade in terms of reading con reading level, but the content is more mature. Uh, there is some language in it and some other things. So see if you think it rocks. Like I said, I gotta go read another book. Bye.